Fit MC. Ever since Melon was added into the game, it has become a somewhat unofficial symbol of 2B2T. Amid the insanity of an anarchy server, the Melon is a beacon of hope to those that would wish to survive here. I'm on my way to tour a massive base made entirely out of Melon, but before I arrive, I wanted to share some history behind this notorious fruit on our server. For the first year of 2B2T's existence, Melon did not exist. It wasn't added until the adventure update in Beta 1.8 in the late part of 2011. Early on it was shown to be a very simplistic and durable food source. It only needed one patch of farmland to grow a stem, which could then produce infinite melons without needing any sort of maintenance. If a melon farm was destroyed, it could easily be rebuilt in a matter of minutes. And numerous ones could be built very easily. Melon farms began to sprout up near spawn, and new players were able to harvest this new food source with just their hands. Melon became synonymous with escaping spawn. Many players throughout 2B2T history survived their first day on 2B thanks to Melon. In fact, when the Camping Rusher made his now infamous video on 2B2T, guess what he used in order to survive? No, yes, dude, it's not a myth! We found food! We found food! This All is right, dude, start chomping that up. Make sure you're not gonna die, and we'll head up. Dude, the I haven't lost one hunger yet. This is the Melon Highway! And, like, we're, yeah, we gotta be good guys and make sure we keep it, you know, for other people, right? Oh, yeah. Multiple bases in 2B2T's long history have used the name Melon in them, such as Summer Melon and Winter Melon. Melon Highways were built leading out of spawn in the past. In a weird, symbolic kind of way, Melon represents the players of 2B2T. Resilient, able to survive anywhere, under any conditions, and can often be found where you least expect them. But now I'm going to stop rambling about the fruit. On to today's tour. Oh, oh, wait. Look at this. We came right up to it. Look at these melons. Oh, oh. Look at that. We have definitely stumbled upon something that is not griefed. I think this is still pretty active. Whoa. Oh. Man, look at all these melons. This is crazy. Let me take a look at Free Camp. Wow. Okay. So, like, what? I have... I've seen a lot of melon structures on 2B2T in my time, but I have never seen this many all in one place. This is absolutely insane. I don't even think this is a finished build yet. Okay, we got some horses on the inside. Look at... Oh, wow, okay. We have a lot of exploring to do in this place. Now, how can I get to the central axis? What? Okay, there might be more than just melons here. How are we going to get around? I don't want to, like, disturb the melons. You know, I'm trying to be at one with the melons. Maybe if we try over this way. Is there any way in? What does that say? L, B... Hey, well, I don't know what that says, but hey, maybe we can get in this way. Look around. Yep, this seems to be the place. Huh. Oh, my. Okay, there's some goodies we need to check out in here. Oh, boy. And it looks like, all right, someone's been here recently. Oh, that's a lot of melons. Look at that. Okay, so this this might be someone's dupe stash. There's just a lot of random items here. Let's look around for the good stuff. Nothing in there. Alright, some Kino armor. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not... It's a ton of melons so far, but I'm not seeing any super valuable items. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Watch out. Oh, no, 
not bad. I'll take some extra obsidian and the extra salmon, because why not? Wow, okay. So I really need to take a look around this place. Wow, okay, so this is definitely someone's dupe stash. Look at all these bottles of enchanting. Look at all of these uh, totems in here. And tons of melons. Yep, this is definitely a dupe stash. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to destroy this place. But I'm certainly going to take some of these, uh, these items here. Dispenser. Why would you need all those dispensers? That seems a bit odd. Shulker shell. Whoa! That's a lot of shulker shells. That's a lot of shulker shells! But just look at all the, like, melons they have. Tons of them. Tons of bookshelves. Man. This is a pretty, uh, it's not, not the worst dupe stash I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, they certainly have the goods. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness. Well, this is definitely uh, a little more interesting than I thought it would be. Look at this. Someone made a recreation of the Jesus statue from... Uh, imp space, but it's made completely out of melons. Look at that. It's definitely been uh, griefed a little bit, I can tell. Or maybe it just hasn't finished construction yet. I honestly have n I don't know. It's... It's too, uh... I, I can't tell. But still, that's just... That's just straight up impressive. I don't care who you are. I... Like I said... With melon being the most symbolic food on 2B2T, I, I've never seen anything of this caliber made out of melons before. Just nothing but melons. Man, this even puts the melon pile on my single player world to shame. This is just absurd. Man, look at this. And I don't think they were even done expanding this area. This is just... I mean, it's just nuts. There's no other way I can describe this. Now, is there anything on the inside? Let's see. Okay, it's just like a lot of just normal fields just going up through this mega structure. That's That just looks crazy from the inside. Man, those are some good-looking melons. All right, so let's head back this way. I want to see if there's any other parts of the base that we missed. Is this a, <laughs> it's a lot of melons. Now, I believe there was a horse just kind of chilling over here that was kind of trapped in the melons. I kind of want to try and tame it. Um, just because I currently lack a horse, and it would be nice to have one. Now, where was it? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's try it. I want to see those hearts. There we go. Excellent. Wow, this one's actually pretty fast, even without speed hacks. That's pretty good. Alright, but now... Back to the treasures. I want to see if there's anything I can take as a souvenir. I might take a shulker of melons as a little souvenir from this place. Just because... I mean, come on! How could you come to essentially what is Wrath Outpost made out of melons and not take a couple for yourself? And by a couple, I mean, well... A lot. Let's see. There we go. I'll take that one full of melons. Oh man, that's just this is just crazy. There's so many melons here, dude. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's. Oak wood. Why would you need that much wood in a shulker? It's, it's still. I don't know. But let me just take a look around just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Overall, I thought this base was pretty dope. I mean, I have never seen so many melons in one place. So, overall, I'd say this was a pretty fitting tribute to 2B2T's most famous crop and food of choice, you know? I think it's super cool. But anyway, that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of you are watching, but you're not subscribed. Come on, click that button. Do it. 
do it. But enough peer pressure. Take it easy, everyone. And if you plan to play on 2B2T for yourself, just remember to stay alive out there, will ya? All right, now I got to get out of here before I'm seen.